Previously, we defined the notion of orientation of a vector space and then of a manifold. Now, in this video, we want to talk about induced orientation. For example, the boundary of a manifold is also a manifold, so we can talk about the orientation on the boundary. And we want to define the orientation on the boundary that is induced by the orientation on the manifold, and so on. But all of these are going to come from, the main idea is going to come from direct sum orientation. That is, if we have two vector spaces, V and W, each have a given orientation. In other words, if we have two oriented vector spaces, V and W, we want to define an orientation on the direct sum of V with W induced by this. To this end, we need a different way to think about orientation. So recall that we define an orientation on a vector space to be an equivalence class of ordered bases. Where two ordered bases are equivalent, if and only if the determinant of the change of basis matrix is positive. Now the question is, how many equivalence classes are there? How many possible choice of orientation are there? Well, intuitively, we know that on the plane there are two clockwise and counterclockwise. But maybe there are more in higher dimensional spaces? Well, turns out the answer is no. We always just have two orientation. Because any two ordered bases that are not equivalent to say this ordered basis of V1, Vn, must be equivalent to each other. Let's see why. This change of basis matrix must be the composition of this change of basis matrix with this change of basis matrix. But both of these must have determinant negative, negative determinant because these aren't equivalent, and so their composition must have positive determinant. Thus, once we have fixed an order basis Vi, there are just two equivalence classes. One consists of all those that are equivalent to these Vi's, and one consists of all those that are not equivalent to this Vi. This gives us the following useful different way to think about orientation. So, given an orientation on V, we can define the following map called an orientation map. Now, let me just warn you that this is just a name I made up. So, it's not a standard thing. Other people might call it different things. So, you should be aware of that. Okay, so name aside, now how do we define this map? Well, given an ordered basis on V, if it is equivalent to the orientation on V, if it's a representative of the orientation on V, then we send it to 1. Otherwise, we send it to minus 1. We can recover the orientation on V as the fiber over 1 of this map. Okay, so now when we talk about constructing orientation, what we're really going to talk about is constructing orientation map. For example, on the direct sum of V with W, we can define an orientation as follows. Also observe that for finite dimensional vector spaces, direct products are the same thing as direct sum. So we can also use the same formula to define an orientation on the direct product. Let us illustrate this by deducing an orientation on R2 from the standard orientation on R. What's the standard orientation on R? Well, that's going to be the orientation given by this vector here. Let's call this copy of R V and this copy of R W. And we have orientation on both given by these. Now let's study the orientation on V times W. We immediately see that a representative of this orientation must be E1, E2 in that order because remember by definition this product orientation is going to be the product of this. Both of these are 1, so this is going to be 1. In general, the product orientation on Rn is going to be given by the equivalence class of this standard basis. We call this the standard orientation on Rn. 
Now, this notion of product orientation on vector spaces will also induce a notion of product orientation on manifolds, because the tangent space of a product of manifold is just going to be the uh, product of tangent spaces, and thus an orientation on each of these tangent space will induce an orientation on this tangent space via the product orientation. So let's see some examples.